Hey Forks Militia, alright, this is Parcival basically coming to you from base camp. We are going over the weekly outlook for the 14th to the 19th and we are going over the news of this week. Alright, so far it's just a small amount of news. We got the Aussie, the dollar, the pound, and then the and the loony basically coming out next week. Just a small amount of news. Now not a very impactful news, but usually around the middle to the end of the month the news basically dries up. So here we go. We got the monetary minutes for the Aussie. We got the the RBA governor speaking low. Uh core retail sales for the US and then the retail sales 830 all right then on Wednesday we've got the pound CPI and then later on we have the CAD CPI and then on Friday the Treasury currency report okay so really small not not a, not a lot of impactful news but um, it's, it's, you know, something to basically look out for. All right. Let's go to the charts. And we are going to start off with the dollar. And the dollar had a rally this week. It is bullish, which is what I did call because I still believe it's going to try to get up into 97.50 around this point up here. All right. So it's going to be bullish for a while. Um, because of what the Fed basically said, uh, the dollar has been, a, a, oh, I'm sorry, let me go back, that was last week. This week, because of the CPI, because of the uh, increase, in, increase in inflation in, in this country, I guess people are basically looking for uh, forms of uh, preserving value right because inflation inflation basically de uh, devalues the the uh, your currency right you need more of more of the currency to get and, and you get less so okay so the dollar basically rallied off of that and uh, we are going to go to the uh, the S&P 500 the S&P 500 rallied some and but it, as you can see we've got this pin bar and it ended out basically flat uh, it hit one target that I had at 4690 91 alright so I came out of that one and it's still bullish so on, on the dollar I'm still bullish and on the S&P 500 still bullish gold I was bearish I, I I I have to switch now because now it's basically because I believe of what the CPI happened it's gone bullish um, it traded up through 1850 and I believe the next target will be 1925 so I am looking for the gold to be bullish the sentiment is also uh, long Bitcoin made some new highs. Uh, it made a high of, let's see, I can't actually see it. Yeah, it made a high of about 6,800, 68, I believe, believe 68,600, somewhere around that range. And uh, it's, I believe it's still bullish, even though the sentiment says that it's short. So, what um, I'm looking for it to do is I'm looking for it to continue up to 73,000 and then to 91,000. Oil. Oil basically coming off of $84 is now falling and I'm, I believe it'll fall down to this trend line and also this monthly support line at $74 before continuing to go up to $100. The loony, the loony basically retraced up into this zone here, and I believe that the direction still is uh, short or bearish, and the sentiment though is long.
the euro. The euro is, uh, I have a bearish outlook, a bearish bias, bias, and the sentiment is short. Uh, I don't have any targets. It, it actually hit a target at 1400. Oh, it hasn't hit there yet. My target is 1.14. And I believe it's going to basically hit that and stop right there and coil a little bit or just uh, consolidate around that point of 1.14. The pound. The pound is short. And I'm looking forward to travel down into the into the uh, 100 day simple moving average and also hit this uh, support this weekly support at 1.32 the pound yen look at that it, it uh, retraced all the way to the 618 right you see it's at the 618 and it hit the 100 also so I am going to count this to be bullish this week. I believe it retraced enough and now uh, it is going to be bullish this week. The sentiment on it is neutral, but my bias is, uh, is, is bullish. All right. uh, this right here, the pound yen, the, the dollar yen is uh, bullish okay it hasn't it, it, well okay I'm going to say it's going to retrace my bad back to the 50 and back down to this trend line right here right at the convergence right here and that is the 50 uh, the, fi the, the Fibonacci 50 okay so right now it's consolidating it's up here now but I believe it's going to come back down to this trend line and to the Fibonacci 50 so I'm going to say bearish on the dollar yen. On the pound yen, the pound yen had a rally. It rallied, but as you can see, it's falling. Now, if now, if, well, what I believe is true, that then the pound is basically going to rally some um, against uh, uh, against the euro because the euro is basically going to fall now, it doesn't have far to f the euro doesn't have far to fall but I do believe that the uh, pound will rally against the euro and the Aussie Kiwi the Aussie Kiwi hit this zone over here it retraced so now it's like in this between these two I'm gonna take this off and we are just going to focus on uh, what is basically happening here. It is also in this market cycle, which basically says it's going to fall, continue to basically fall. Uh, as you can see, it went all the way down to the of this uh, of this Fibonacci uh, plotting uh, between uh, of this uh, dynamic. Let me explain. This is. A dynamic Fibonacci all right if I place the Fibonacci over here so just so that you understand some of the terms that I'm basically putting this is static this is a static Fibonacci this is dynamic because this is still forming so just in case if you if I use those terms you'll understand what I'm saying. So this is a dynamic. Uh, the zigzag has not actually plotted down here to create a new dynamic uh, uh, high low, right? So I'm just, I'm, I'm using this, this as a dynamic. So once it plots the high low over here, then this will be dynamic and this will be static. Okay, so what, what I believe is it's gonna continue to fall most likely down here to 1.03. Okay, all right, and that's it for this week's outlook for some of the currencies that I'm basically following. Uh, stay tuned for Trade Miner 5.0 Trade Ideas.
Okay, this is Trade Miner Forex, and we have a bullish signal on the pound CAD from November the 18th to November 29th. The probability is medium, so there, uh, the neural network says there's a medium chance that this will be profitable. All right. It has an 80 percent uh, profitability win rate over the last five years. All right, trade minor stocks. Uh, I went with bullish Spirit Airlines. All right, nine years, 100 percent win rate right here, and a high probability for this to be profitable. 100 percent high. All right. It's from November 17th to December 30th. That's actually longer than I want it to actually be. But let's go with it. Why not? All right. Maybe you can get a, a small one-off uh, options, or maybe you could take a small position and just uh, just ride that pretty much till the end of the year. And then from Season X, I picked WPP. And that is from November 20th to December 29th. 100% win rate. And she get about 6% from there. As you can see it right here, this is going long. And going over some of the previous trades, we have the Swissy uh, Yen which actually closed out with a loss on uh, it, it was a bullish trade and it, it traded down so that was a loss on the technical and a loss on the blind trade the just just a trade idea itself um, there was a trade on uh, TDG that did go well um, stocks and uh, on a $20,000 position, we got about $1,197. Uh, this is the Swissy Yen that it, we lost like $98, just a little bit. And then the finally, the AVGO actually closed and pulled out about $2,220.84. So uh, I'm not going to make this very long, but as you can see right here, so far we're 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 in the black. We're uh, $2,686 up on the blind trades. Uh, I don't think we're beating the S&P 500, but we are definitely making money from just trade ideas from Trade Miner, and that's why I'm promoting it. I believe it's a it's it's a very good product. Okay, so with that, I will say knowledge is power. Be power hungry. Power to the people. This is Parcival. Signing out.